Hey YouTube, I'm here with a uh, Lost Sanctuary deck unboxing. Was in the middle of making the video before um, camera froze, so the box already a little bit open. I'll just restart it. Uh, so I get it, got it in a little bit early. I only was able to pick up one. Funds are a little low. I'll obviously pick up more. It's a really good deck, you know, based on uh, the fairy stuff and. Um, you know, it comes with a lot of cards that a lot of people want. Just reprints, really good reprints. Uh, as you know, they took out Archlord Christia, which is whatever I believe is going to be a Gold Series card, or maybe in Turbo Pack 6. But I think you're going to see Archlord Christia very soon. And all you really need to do is get two of her and two Herald of Orange Lights. And you have basically all the three Herald of Orange Lights. And you basically have all the monsters you'll need for the deck. Everything else is pretty much packed in here. So, going through what comes with the deck. Uh, first I'll show the mat, which a lot of people are interested in, because they make these structure deck mats a lot better now. And you can see it's a standard mat, going across, going across, forget my webcam, Master Hyperion in the middle, or on the right side. So yep, that's basically the Lost Sanctuary mat. Looks pretty cool, you know, I'm still going to stick to using my Sneak Peek and um, Tournament Wing mats. Uh, of course comes with some strategy card or something on like how to use the mat, how to remove from play, how to play the deck, what to get, f how to get from the stuff, Gold Series 4 Pyramid Edition, uh, let's see, let's, Metigal Stage, Sage of the Sky is from the, uh, or Trade-In, hmm, so trade is going to be in Gold Series 4, and I believe Meltiel Stage of the Sky is, unless he's actually in this deck. No, that's actually, so two more gold series cards announced are Mateel, Sage of the Sky, and Trade-In. I'm just hoping that Trade-In's not a, um, a gold rare. That, that I don't think anyone would like that. Rule book, every duelist should have one, you know, if you've never really actually sat and read through this. Next time that you're using the facilities in your house, please check this out. A lot of rulings that you could do, you know, could easily be deciphered just by reading your rulebook. But now the moment I wasn't waiting for, the deck wrapped in plastic, Master Hyperion, the main card of the deck, uh, one of the best boss monsters to come out in the deck, probably since some Machina Fortress, you know, probably the best ultra rare. I don't really like Arma Leviton, and obviously you can't use Temple of the Kings. Or any of the hollows really from the Marek deck. Okay, so going through the deck you get Master Hyperion, Ultra Ultra Rare, great card. Uh, some of these cards are upside down apparently. Um, Agent of Mystery Earth is a super, which is excellent. Excellent that that's a super rare because this is going to be played in the deck in threes. Jupiter, if you're going to play any, just play one. I just took a little sneak peek at the card everyone really wants to see. Uh, Saturn, Mercury, Venus, Mars, so these are your agents that you get, you get six planets, eventually maybe they'll make one for um, other planets, but whatever, okay, okay. Mystical Shine Ball, Splendid Venus, Thesis, Tethys, I mean, Goddess of Light, one of my favorite reprints, this is one of my favorite fairies, I think her effect is wonderful, especially with cards from the sky, and if you play Upstart Goblins, or, um, and I play White Elephant's Gifts in mine, I think it's really good, Victoria, Athena, yeah, everyone knows Athena is the card that was put in in place of Archlord Christia. So not everyone's too thrilled. Common Marshmallow. Remember when this was amazing? It's still limited to one, so as many as you get are just extras. Hecatrice uh, allows you to search out Valhalla, if I'm correct. Yep, Hecatrice allows you to search Valhalla. Speeds up those turn one Christias. Shining Angel. Still just a good card to have. Always good. Soul Purity and Light. Old favorite of mine. Eric Peshaf. Um, one of the best cards of yesteryear. Still decent, but 1900 doesn't really cut the cheese anymore, not when the Thunder Kings are running rapid. Nova Summer, uh, one of the better fairy recruiters. Um, Zeradius, Herald of Heaven. Okay. Honest. Common Honest. We all remember when this was extremely expensive to get. Common Honest is, uh, just... Another honest reprint. That's about four. Of, that's about four different prints now, if I'm not mistaken. Hand water, which is always good. And concentrated light, which is a fairly hard fairy to get. So this is your. Um, so this is your monsters for the deck. Obviously, no Archlord Christia, but we'll be getting Archlord Christia soon. Okay, cards from the sky. Valhalla, terraforming, which is always good. 
Smashing Ground, another reprint. You know, I have my three golds, but Smashing Ground is always good. Uh, Double Sanctuary in the Sky. A lot of these cards you could use do extra stuff if you have Sanctuary. Celestial Transformation, kind of like a um, an Itali, but only from hand. Burial from a different dimension. This is actually really surprising to me that they would have print this as a common. I could have thought we might have seen this as a gold rare, but it's nice to have commons of these. It's still limited to one, but this was a pretty sought-after card. It, was, it wasn't even an easy rare to get. So Burial from a different dimension is a nice one. Mausoleum of the Emperor. Again, there just to make faster Christians, but it's always good to have. Um, Solidarity. Another nice reprint. Nothing's wrong with Solidarity. The Fountain in the Sky. Okay, it's a decent card. Now here's a card a lot of people talking about divine punishment. If you control sanctuary, it basically gives another solemn judgment. Except uh, it doesn't stop summons, but it stops effect monsters' effects. So divine punishment is pretty good if you're gonna play sanctuary. I'm not, but it doesn't mean that you don't have to. Okay, um, these are all the spells, by the way, in the deck. Return from a different dimension. Torrential tribute. Both really nice reprints. Nice to have this and another reprint of that. It was getting a little difficult to find. Torrential just came rare in Turbo Pack. This is about my fifth Torrential. Still my original Ultra. It's good. Beckoning Light. Nice car. was already common. Good to have. Two Miraculous Des Descents. A decent um, car. Basically they call the Haunted from Art Sheet Fairies. And of course, this is the card everyone's been looking for and is very excited for this deck, and which is why it's going to do very well in the sales, as far as I believe, is Common Solemn Judgment. We all know what Solemn Judgment does, one of the most famous cards in the history of the game. And within the last four years, this card's power has increased tremendously, and it's been limited to one, but it's still about a $15 card. Now, it's Common. They'll obviously lower the value of the other ones, but Common Solemn Judgment is still great. So... That is the Lost Sanctuary deck. Uh, pick up three. You're going to want three Hyperions. You're going to want three Earths. You're going to want three Shine Balls. Um, I'll be doing a fairy deck profile of how I'll play the deck as soon as I get uh, three of these and basically everything else I need. But um, yeah, that's basically the Lost Sanctuary deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And go pick these up real quick. They should be available to the masses in four days. Take care.